My name is Kyle Yip. I'm a Canadian hyper surrealist visual artist, internationally recognized for my um, precise depictions of contemporary visual art, electronic music, and films from my dreams, including my Juno Award nominated uh, debut album, The Midas Touch, for uh, Best Electronic Album of the Year in 2016. And uh, my work explores many themes, including but not limited to dreams. Um, it's, a, it's an examination of identity, transcendence, and uh, vexillology. I was introduced to, to art classes very early. Um, I think my first one being was with Disney. It was one of those things you had to apply to get in and they would send me like VHS tapes in the mail and I would sit on my living room floor and they would give me um, tutorials of, of, about how to draw cartoon characters and stuff like that. And then I went on to take uh, drafting lessons, painting, drawing and painting. Went to um, an arts high school. Again, you had to apply to get in with a portfolio. But by the time I got to university, I already I already felt like I had the, uh, the prerequisites and skills to get started. And the last thing I wanted to do was have, uh, you know, like an insurmountable amount of debt to start my art practice. So uh, I took my friend's advice and I decided not to go to school for post-secondary school for art. When I'm painting, I'm a painter. When I'm sculpting, I'm a sculptor. Um, when I'm producing film, I'm a filmmaker. When I'm producing electronica music, I'm a producer. But at the end of the day, I'm an artist. So ultimately what my art is about is transcendence. And my goal is just to, to try to depict the work from my dreams as accurately as possible. Like down to the inch, the color, the compositions, everything. I try, to, I try my best to just reproduce the pieces as accurately as possible. Um, that being said, you know, there's a lot of subgenres of fine art, which you can classify my work as, but I think ultimately it's easier to just create a new genre, which I'm calling hyper surrealism, which would be a subgenre of surrealism, where surrealism strives for more of a dreamlike quality. Uh, I personally, myself, am dreaming about contemporary art uh, from my future in a sense, because I haven't seen it from my past. I haven't recognized it I've, in the market. I haven't seen it elsewhere. So it's a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy in a sense when I produce my art for my dreams. Um, but yeah, I, I work in whatever medium. It depends on the dream. If I, like I said, if I'm dreaming about a sculpture, I'll I'll be sculpting. If I'm oil paint, if it's an oil painting, I'll be oil painting. If it's an acrylic painting, I'll be acrylic painting. I don't really think there are any shortcuts in life, and I think most dedicated artists embrace failure as a means of uh, the creative process. Um, I'm also not a purist, so I take pride in the gesture, not the execution per se, meaning that I outsource things that I can't do. You know, I'm a human being and I have limitations. And while I have like accrued many skills over uh, my 30 odd years of experience, um, I don't know how to do everything. So I don't mind reaching out for help and I like working with people too. So I, I try to be a social artist. Um, but uh, yeah, I, there's a lot of challenges when I when I try to start a new project, um, whether there, whether that be like the learning curve of uh, familiarizing myself with a new medium I haven't uh, previously been uh, formally or informally educated with. Um, but I just go through it and I learn from failure and I learn from, I'm, I embrace that. So I'm working on a lot of things. Um, I'm having dreams about like visual art, sculptures, electronica music. I even have I even have dreams about DJ sets with very specific like underground electronic tr music tracks. Um, I, I hope my, my life goal is to reproduce everything, like every 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 song, every piece uh, of art. And so currently, I'm working on um, a long term goal. I guess it's a little bit uh, premature to say this, but I have a couple tracks already already uh, completed. Um, which is, so an electronic album for my dreams I'm working towards, that would be my fourth album now. Um, working towards my solo exhibition Renaissance show, which also takes its name exactly from the dreams. Um, you could see, you could see previews of those online. I have a, I have exhibitions coming up in Greece, um, with Sachi art, the holy art, uh, OCAD University on uh, September 11th opening launch for their new Ignite Gallery called Personal Mythology, um, Humanism, September 13th uh, at Romanso with the Holy Art, of course. 
And then I have a few other international art fairs that I'm working towards in uh, Toronto and LA. So I, I have many, many ongoing series all in production simultaneously. As to balancing all those things, I just, I'm just diving in head first and I'm just giving it everything I have. So I've been working like nonstop, like 40 to 70 hours a week, just, just uh, painting like crazy.